This is the best possible accessible team you can use and it is also very free to play friendly for the new Pirating Adventures vs Ace up until level 99. The new Super Evolution of Boa will be our captain without any level limit break. The new legend Jimbe as friend captain with access to his super class because of Sanji and Brook. And both Cypher to play Sanji and Brook have double special activation limit break ability maxed out and are maximum level limit break. Then we just use the super evolutions of Pirating Adventures Mihawk and Arlong. And some things you need to have in mind for this team. It is definitely preferable to have Sanji in the middle row under your friend Captain Jimbe. And it is also very helpful to have Q Legend Luffy support on our Brook because he can help us make the size slots that Boa can provide with her super type matching in stage 4. In stage number 3 though, Jimbe resists the special bind because of his captain ability and by activating his special we remove damage reduction, apply weakened status, gain a damage reduction shield and then we activate Sanji once for adjacent matching slots and chain boundaries to super easily clear the miniboss here and almost completely ignore the after defeat damage because of Jimbe's shield. Time now for stage 4, special rewind will be present, a chain debuff for the remainder of the quest, the two back row enemies will gain resilience and everyone will gain a damage reduction shield, even intimidation is present to reduce orb boosting by one turn but it will be absolutely fine we don't really need to deal with that. First thing we are going to do is activate 5 plus PKA Mihawk to remove damage reduction, help us regain our specials and get an orb boost that can survive through intimidation. Then we activate Brook once to deal with the back row mobs later on maybe just with the resilience and Luffy will activate making size slots beneficial for everyone. And now we want to activate the special and also super type of Boa Hancock for a chain boost and an attack boost on our Psy units for the remainder of the quest and the full board of matching slots because of Luffy. Now we can attack and super easily defeat the enemy but also the back row mobs if they survive Brook's damage. Moving on to the final stage now to go against Ace and he will apply our crew with a low ore boost that we don't really care about, we can't get an ore boost anyway, Jimbe will resist the special bind on everyone just like he did in stage 3 and then we are going to activate Arlong first to apply increased damage taken to Ace and also gain threshold. Then we are going to activate Sanji to gain chain boundaries to of course alongside the chain boosting help with the chain debuff. Then we are going to activate Brook to completely remove Ace's resilience. And finally the super class ability of Jimbe for a multiplicative chain boost but also for him to regain his special so we can activate it again and completely remove the damage reduction from Ace but gain a damage reduction shield ourselves too. We are more than ready now to start attacking with our dex units, ending on Jimbe for maximum damage, to super easily defeat Ace and survive his after defeat hit as well. And that's how easily this very free to play friendly team can deal with the new pirating adventures up until level 99. Hopefully you found the video helpful, if you did definitely leave a like, I would really appreciate it. And as always, thank you so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.